action. Mm -hmm. I want everybody everywhere to remember me when they pray. I want everybody. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Everybody out there. Ah, how, how are you? This is Tommy Brown, and I'm the admiral of the flagship blues, the blues flagship. I'm the admiral, and uh, where we're going to play a lot of old blues and uh, some new ones. So. One of our features is Hits Before Grammys. Listen to me, Hits Before Grammys. Before Grammys, there were a lot of big records that they don't know about, and so we'll be getting right. into some of those. But, when you come home but right now, we're going to move right along. Tonight. Let a little bit more of that play. Remember Me. That's from my uh, 2009 CD. Remember Me. Yeah. Well, there's shoes on the floor where yours should be. There's a coat in the closet, and you say, I know it don't belong to me. There's a hat on the table beside the bed And a fifth of old tailor and it's almost dead So you say to yourself, it just can't be But I'm gonna tell you it can Because it happened to me That's why night and day, night and day, night and day, night and day I have the blues Night and day, night and day, night and day, night and day Night and day, I have the blues. I guess a lot of you know what that's all about. Listen, my uh, one of my fine supporters out there, Blind Willie's out there on North Highland Avenue. And uh, it's uh, 828 North Highland Avenue. We want you to go out there and catch some of the great shows out there. Tomorrow night, uh, well, tonight, they got the fabulous Sal uh, Sandra Hall. And tomorrow night, Chick Willis has got his CD release. It's going on out there. So stop out there and catch every weekend. Every week they've got stuff going on. Like uh, next uh, Sunday, they got a Tango uh, Wood Tonic and uh, Joe McGinnis on Monday. Atlanta Boogie on Tuesday. Uh, Scott Glazer, Joe Mojo Dojo on uh, Wednesday. And Friday, Deacon Blues is back. And the Holy Smoke Band. Then you got House Rock and Johnson there on Friday night and Sandra Hall again on Saturday. So stop out there, Blind Willies. That's at 828 North Highland Avenue uh, here in Atlanta. If you want to call out there, it's 404-873-BLUES. So get on the board. Right now I want to bring up an artist that um, 
is going to be out there uh, around the middle of the month on the 17th to be exact. Sweet Betty doing uh, brown liquor. Let's give it a big brown spin there. Brown liquor. Thank you, baby. Wake up, wake up. Let's go, let's go. 
Betty, ladies and gentlemen, sweet Betty, and she fabulous. So she's you. gonna be down there flying really uh, on the 17th, and uh, then they got the, the Night Hawks on the 18th, and uh, House Rockin' Johnson there is on the 19th. So they got stuff going all the time at Blind Willie, so you got to go down there. I'll be back there in December. Got a couple of dates in there in December, so we want you to keep that in mind and come on down because we got a lot of things to do here. We got a lot of things we want to talk about, about the music and all, and uh, try to clear up some things that people think about R&B or blues or whatever uh, that they don't understand about it. So, But right now I'm going to bring up a song that I had the pleasure of doing and recording with some great people. Uh, they're on the piano. Uh, it was the same man that wrote uh, Every Day I Have the Blues, uh, played the piano. And uh, then that's Willie Willie Horton on the, the, on the harmonica and Willie Dixon on the bass. And... Uh, so we had a wonderful time in Chicago back in the late 50s recording this. It's called Southern Women. And uh, here it goes. Willie Dixon wrote this tune, Southern Women. Uh, this is coming from the flagship. The Cap Admiral is talking to you. Listen up. Going down to Texas, going to Georgia too. Something Southern Women knows how to do. What it's all about But Lord have mercy They knock me out They keep your bread They call me head They bring your food right To the bed mm -hmm. Lord have mercy They knock me out Southern Women. That's Memphis Slim on the piano. And man, that cat is great. He was great. He's passed on now. A lot of these guys that we'll be talking about and in, in interviewing and stuff as the time goes on, they're passed on, but they had big records back in the day uh, before Grammys. And uh, we, we want you to reach back and pick up one of these guys like the Beatles and all. They went back and got some of these records and recorded them and became big hits for them. While we had these hits back in the 30s and 40s, they were ours, and uh, so we just had a lot of fun with them. And I had the pleasure of working with a lot of these guys, Wynonna Harris and, and uh, you know, 
B.B. Uh, King, I worked with B.B. King back around 1947 in, in Nashville, Tennessee. We used to work up there at the New Era Club and uh, the Del Morocco and just a lot of places all over the country that we've worked together in, in places and just had a lot of fun out there on the road. And uh, I was back to go. Last year this time I was in uh, France and Germany and Spain and also went into England. And I hope to go back uh, next year. It's a little late for this year. And I've covered every state but Hawaii, and i got to go there. I'm going to Hawaii, and then I'm going to the Virgin Islands, and they won't be virgin when I leave. They'll just be the Thomas Island. <laughs> I know you don't catch that. But anyway, right now, we're going to move right along with the show, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, my good friend, uh, Sandra Hall, we're going to bring her down front. She's going to be down at Blind Willis tonight. Wing, ding, doodle. Get it, girl. Get it. Ah, yeah.
going to be down at Blind Willis tonight, so you got to get down there. It's a good show. I think I'll run down there and holler at her too, so come on down Blind Willis tonight and catch the big show down there. In fact, every night in the week, they've got something going on at Blind Willis, and tomorrow night, they got, uh, ooh, wow, got Sandra Hall tonight, tomorrow night, Chick Willis. Chick Willis, oh man, that cat's bad. Walk, and stomp, and play, and <laughs> stoop down, and all of that kind of stuff. Blind winners this weekend, y'all. Go down there. You know what? Um, I want to tell you something right here. A lot of people, a lot of people, young people, they speak of R&B. And um, they always, it seems that they think R&B means any song that's done by a black person. But that's not true. R&B is two separate musics. Rhythm music and blues music. Rhythm music and blues music. That's what the R is for rhythm. The B is for blues. Now... A lot of the musicians think blues is 12 bars. The bars got nothing to do with the blues. I sing 8-bar blues. I sing 12-bar blues. I sing 6-bar blues. Waltz blues. Uh, the, the only thing that can make a song blues is the lyric. The lyric, the word blues describes itself. Now, your psychiatrist might tell you you're depressed. But <laughs> if you got blues, yeah, you're depressed, but it's the blues. And uh, back in the day, it was a stigma to go to a psychiatrist. Now it's a fashion statement. Now, I'm not knocking the psychiatrist now because a lot of people need them. But what I want you to understand is we had to sing our blues off. We had to go and sit down, and that's the only way we could get it off. And uh, the blues didn't come from the church. The blues went to the church. There used to be an old Negro spirit to say, take your problems to the Lord and leave them there. And that's what we did. We didn't go there and get the blues and leave it. We were in the church and had the blues. We were in the wrong place. <laughs> Just want to pass that on to you. But right now, we're going to move right along, ladies and gentlemen. My good friend, Albert White, he's over there on the 
uh, music maker label. Yeah, let's give him a big round of applause out there in the land and bring Albert White right on down front. Yeah, and he's doing I'll Take Care of You. Albert White, ha! Go get it. But if you let me, here's what I'll do. I'll take care of you. I, I love the laws the same as you. They'll have no doubt in my mind. I know what I want to do And if you let me hold on Here's what I'll do Whoa, I'll take care of you You won't ever have to worry You won't ever Fabulous Albert White, ladies and gentlemen. Now, I had a gentleman tell me that blues music is depressing. Was that depressing to you? I don't think so, but that's fantastic. Albert White, my good friend, Albert White, and uh, we did a tour last year in Europe together and had a wonderful time, and I expect to go back real soon. But right now, I want to tell you a thing or two here about uh, how it first got to be rhythm and blues. Back in the 40s, there was a group called the Orioles, Sonny Till and the Orioles. And um, he was being interviewed, and the interviewer asked him, said, what kind of music do your group do? And he said, we do some rhythm and some blues. Bingo. That's where the term came from, rhythm and blues. Now, you can go out and sing all night, but if you sing all the songs like Albert just did all night, people will get tired. So you pick it up with a rhythm song. And some of them now... Every Day I Have the Blues I was written by Memphis Slim, and it was slow. And uh, Joe Williams, when he got with Count Basie's band, he did a swing way of it, you understand? And that's when they started picking it up. Now, everybody sings it up tempo, but it was originally written slow because it was a blues. Now, we're not saying you can't sing blues in 12 bars, but that doesn't determine it being a blues, okay? Right now, we're going to move right along and... We got a good friend of mine that's passed away about a year and a half ago from up in uh, Dayton, Ohio, and named Piney Brown. He was on the uh, Bone Dog record label, same one I recorded for, out of Pittsburgh with um, 
uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, everybody up there know this guy. The, the record man up there in Pittsburgh, in, uh, 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 Ingersoll, Jeff Ingersoll at Bone Dog Records over there. And so this is Piney Bryan, and he's singing uh, For You, My Love. Here you go. Sing it out, Piney. Mm. gentlemen you tell me that don't make you want to move <laughs> let, listen let me tell you something now if you got some old records you've heard of from your parents or something and you want to hear you know uh drop me a line here at the station it's on the screen there uh and uh, i'll be more than happy to see if i can find it i have uh you never heard of probably a billy wright one of the great singers of our time passed away a few years ago one that uh little richard basically copied everything off of and um, I've got probably a thousand uh, old 45s and probably another 12, 1500 uh, albums. So, you know, if I got it, I'll play it for you. I'm going to bring some more up next week and a week after. And we're going to have some live musicians in sometime. There are a lot of good live bands in the town that play for parties, uh, weddings, uh, birthdays, anniversaries, mother in law's funerals, divorces, shack ups. They play for anything. So 
you know, look out for me in Atlanta. There's Sonic Blues Band. There's uh, Carlos uh, Capote and the Breeze Kings. And, uh, oh, boy, there's so many bands out here that you can, you can uh, the Lucky Street Band. It's such bands everywhere here that plays this kind of music and others, too. So, hey, keep them in mind. And, uh, you know, I've got a few open dates, too. You can call me at uh, 404 <clears throat> 839-7734, 404-839-7734, and I'll be more than happy to work out a date with you. I mean, engagement. I mean, uh, show. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Right now, you know, it's a, back in the day, there's a young man that I grew up with, and his name was J.J. Jones, and he was a hell of a saxophone player. Then he had his own record company, and um, J.J. has got a, a CD out now. Uh, he's got a second one out since this one. And on this one, I want you to hear this because this man is fantabulous. Uh, uh, Fly Me to the Moon. This is not a blues, but it's a fantastic, beautiful song. And let's hear J.J. Jones and Fly Me to the Moon. Okay? Pow! <laughs> Thank you. 
J.J. Jones, how about that? Isn't that beautiful? Hey, let me tell you something. Another thing here that most people get a misunderstanding about is jazz. Now, jazz was a part of the blues. You understand? And I'll explain that to you. In a blues song, when you take the break and give one of them solo, that's when they jazz it up because they're playing their own ideas, their feelings, and, and everything in your song. Jazz is a feeling music. It's not something you can sit down and write. Once you write it out, it's no more jazz. It was jazz when they did it, but then it becomes just another, another song. I don't understand why musicians can't understand that. Our music is about a feeling, all of it. In the 50s, Norman Grant pulled jazz out of blues so that other guys could become big in that name, like Stan Getz and all those guys. Called it something else, jazz at the Philharmonics. Anytime you express your own ideas and feelings within a song and stay within that structure, you're jazzing it up. Now, you wonder why people start talking when they're playing what they call jazz. They start playing progressions, flat at fifth, augmented seventh. Hey, musicians know what you're doing, but your audience don't know what you're doing. So they start talking because they don't understand it. But if you stay within the melody, Listen to Louis Armstrong and his bands when they play. Three people soloing at the same time, but you can always hear the melody. And if you keep the melody there, your people know what you're doing and they can follow you. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to move right along. And uh, another young lady that's down there at Blind Willie's uh, periodically, let's see, she's going to be there on the 25th. You got to go down there and catch these people because they're fantastic. Uh, Francine Reed, let's give her a big round of applause and bring her right down front. Francine Reed, hey. Got it? <laughs> We might get real lucky tonight. You might be extremely fortunate. Welcome, everybody. Y'all here to hear some blues? That's what we got for you.
Francine Reed. The fabulous Francine Reed. That girl is something else. You got to go down the blind wheelies and catch these people now because uh, they're really shaking it up down here. And, um, you know, so many things have been going on. Um, let me tell you something. Uh, there's a song that's coming up. I had the pleasure of recording back in 1951. Uh, uh, and two weeks after I recorded it, I got drafted, went into the military, and it came up to be number one of the year. Now, some people say now that it was number one for three weeks, but if it's number one for the year, that means it was longer than that. When I got out of service in, no, in uh, August of 52, it was still number one. While I was in service, I was lying there reading in jet, and a friend of mine, Carlton Coleman, they never showed his face, was working as Tommy Brown in uh, Chicago. When I got out of the service, I went back to the showboat in Philadelphia where I had worked before I went in the service, and he was working across the river as Tommy Brown. His, his uh, club owner came over to challenge the club owner that I was working for, and he says, no, Tommy, this is Tommy Brown, because I worked him before he went in the military. Carlton says to me, don't scream on me. I didn't care, but there were five people working under my name as Tommy Brown. However, the record was so big Along with the Griffin Brothers, uh, I had filed it with BMI. That's a company that collects royalties from all the radio stations and the jukeboxes and everything every time a record is played. So I should have had quite a bit of money coming, but I never got it. In fact, I didn't know it was number one until 2002 when I called them and said, what about my royalties? Because I had been asking them back in the 50s, and they didn't tell me. I found out then they said that I had relinquished my rights. Now, I never relinquished my rights, because otherwise, why would they give me the award? I messed around and got copies of the award. They sent them to me, and I meant to bring them today. I'll have them next week for you. In 1951, the number one record of the year, I never got paid. I've got about 75 songs in BMI. Everybody's covered some of my songs. One's been in a movie. Everybody gets paid with me. But that's okay. I will get my money. Think, that, think about it, BMI. Everybody will know how you cheated us back in the 40s and 50s. I'm not the only one that they didn't pay. Little Richard had to get a lawyer to get his. Lawyers won't touch him for mine. But anyway, right now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to move right along. And that song that I mentioned, Weeping and Crying, I hope you like it. Here we go. Weeping and Crying. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, we got another one, a copy of it, so uh, bad take there, but it's coming up. That shows you how old it is. This song was in 1951. I recorded it in Washington, D.C. While, Well, we went from there to the Apollo Theater, <laughs> and uh, I was on the stage singing a song, uh, I'm going to join the Army if I have to volunteer, and they walked out and handed me my draft papers. <laughs> That was on Thursday, and Monday I was put in the Marine Corps <laughs> here in Atlanta. And so, but here we are now. Uh, we're going to try that again on, with another CD, and I hope you enjoy this. Uh, it's Weeping and Crying. Thank you.
help me somebody, help me somebody. Thank you. Hey, we want to give a shout out to Marcy up there in Ohio, and uh, we hope you're enjoying this wherever you are. Uh, I know in Europe now it's about uh, 1 o'clock in the morning, and uh, in Japan it's probably uh, 12 o'clock at night. <laughs> but anyway, we, we enjoy bringing this to you today, ladies and gentlemen, and be back on next Monday night uh, at 7 o'clock and until 8 o'clock, and we want you to come on out. Right now, we're going to do a little um, Bobby Blue Band before we leave the air. And uh, hang in there. We love you. And until next time, it's Bobby Blue Band, this love of mine. Bobby Blue Band, Bobby Blue Band, ain't that bad? Tell your friends out there, ladies and gentlemen, that they want to hear the real blues, the tune in W A E T. They, uh, oh, 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 got it mixed up. Tell them to tune in where you watch the show tonight. Go ahead and get them and tell them on the phone because this is the real blues that you're going to get here. And I want you to guess what this song says. Remember me when you pray because I'll be around. W A E N T V W A E N T V. Tell them all. And uh, drop me a line here at the station if you have a song, some music that you'd like to hear. If I got it, I'll try to get it if I have it. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for watching tonight. And until I see you again or you see me, bye bye. This is the captain, I mean the admiral from the Blues flagship. Thank you. Don't belong to me There's a hat on the table Beside the bed 